What's up everybody? So in the last video you guys saw, we ended up getting this Civic all torn down. I ended up leaving the seats and carpet in there just for now. No big deal over there. But we got the headliner out, which was the main focus of that because the headliner that was in the black car, which you guys can see over there was gray and has a sunroof, whereas this one has no sunroof. So we had to utilize this one here. Um, the only problem with it is it's tan and sagging. So that's no good. I mean, you guys can see there, it's lifting up and everything. It had tears and stuff. So we need to fix this and refabric it. So I ended up going and uh, picking up some new fabric for it. Oh, and the other thing that we also ended up doing is I got fabric for the door cards. Um, I ended up going with, well, I'll show you guys here. But we got the gray, like suede material here for the headliner and then for the door cards, I ended up going with this red. I think it's gonna look super good on the inside of there. Especially with the car being red, I think it'll stand out a lot against these black panels. I'll show you guys kind of the area that I'm talking about. It's this section here. That'll all be red, so I think that's gonna look really good. The other thing I need to look into is getting this redone. I'm not really sure what to do with that. Might have to figure out some way to like sew it up or do something like that. Um, but Luke and I, we end up pushing the black Civic out, so now we have tons of room in here. I got all the pieces from the interior, from the tan, tan interior all lined up here, as well as all the black interior over there. So I think we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead, start off with this headliner now and uh, start peeling it up. It doesn't look like it's too bad to get off. It just pretty much lifts up, which is kind of nice. So we'll get that peeled off and uh, get the new fabric laid up here and try to get this on. I've never done this before. You've never done this. So it's no, gonna be a learning new. experience for us as well as you guys. So it should be fun. So we just managed to get all that fabric off. It was pretty easy. The middle section came off okay. These upper sections tore some of the foam, which I don't know if that'll be too big of a deal because this stuff here is pretty thick padding. I may kind of like sand this down or make it somewhat smooth. That way we don't have any like uh, dimples in the headliner at all. But you guys can see there, there's a pile of uh, old headliner. So next up, we're gonna go ahead, lay this fabric up here, make sure it's the correct size we need. I think I got two yards worth. So should be more than enough. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and I guess throw that up there and see how it fits. So now we got the headliner laid up here. I think it's gonna look really nice. You can see like it kind of like the suediness go back and forth, which is super cool. The only thing I was thinking about is up here where it is kind of low. I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not, but there's like a, there's like the bald spot there, little one there. So we may sand that down. I mean, this is pretty thick enough. I don't really see it. And plus the sun visors are gonna be up here covering it. So we may just try to give it a quick like sanding or whatever and see how it goes. But as far as this goes, I got like all this excess and stuff here. I know the factory one, they just pretty much cut off right at the edge. We're gonna to try to fold it over and tuck it. So when it does go up, it doesn't have that opportunity to drop aside from like in the middle section. But I think the glue should hold it up nicely. Plus there's like this little cut out here yeah, for like the, for the uh, light. So that'll all get tucked in. But otherwise I think it's gonna look really good. I love like this material too it's super soft so i think it'll look good on the doors as well having that kind of different yeah. kind of material well i guess it's not so different because i think the one that was on this door was also kind of like a smoother sweetier finish yeah it is so won't be too much different other than the color but uh yeah let's go ahead and try to sand that down and see if we can get to smooth out all right so i went ahead i got this leveled up and kind of thought about it i'm like I don't think that the glue is gonna to stick to the foam well, so I think the best thing to do is go ahead and remove all the foam. So we went ahead and we've started up here on these sections here, and it seems like our best bet is to use these little wire brushes. I wish I had a bigger one so we could do a bigger surface at a time. Um, Luke's has got, is even got tinier. A tiny one. <laughs> so um, tried using the scraper and stuff, that doesn't really work too well. Uh, I did look online just because I was kind of curious whether or not people were taking the foam completely off, and it does look like everybody is. You need to have like a nice clean backing for this for the glue to stick. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, take these brushes and try to get all this foam off. I'm sure it's gonna be a fun little project here. It's gonna be kind of tedious and time consuming. So, we got our work cut out for us. Yeah, we do. A few moments later. 
So there you guys have it. We got it completely clean. That honestly sucked. That was very time consuming. I can't believe how long that took. But now that it's all clean, it's ready to go to be sprayed with the glue and get the fabric down. I know you sure had fun doing that, didn't you? I mean, you guys can see there's just a little mess that you're seeing here on the floor now. Luke's cleaning up. Oh, it's in the it's vacuum. It's in the vacuum, right but we had like a huge pile of stuff going around here. Um, the best solution that we found for this was using a wire wheel. So I just used this little, this here with a little wire wheel. So that seemed to do the best job. Not a big surface area. You can only do like a little whatever, two inch strip at a time, but it is clean now, it is ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get our fabric laid up here and I guess get ready to start gluing it down. All right, so now we have the fabric laid up exactly how we want it. We got enough like excess here so it's overhanging. We'll be able to cut that down and use it to tuck it up. That way we have it wrapped around the backside and kind of prevent the sagging issue that was from the factory. I think this stuff is gonna be awesome because like I said, it is kind of like that suede material as you guys can see there. That'll be real nice to have. It's a nice dark gray. But what I'm thinking we're gonna do is kind of fold this up into thirds and just work our way from the middle here, spray it, and then get that glued down, spray it again. Well, I guess it wouldn't be thirds, it'd be more like fours, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we'll just do it piece by piece. That way it all glues down and we can get to lay flat and stick. So I think the first thing we need to do is get some kind of like um, plastic paper shade. or plastic or whatever to keep it from getting any of the glue on the fabric itself. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so we went ahead, we got this all laid out how I want it to. So it's folded in quarters. So the first sheet's folded back and then the second sheet is folded back to here. So you guys can see this exactly how I want it. We got the plastic on the inside as well as over here. So it's laid out on top of the uh, suede material. The main reason for that is just to protect it from when we do spray the glue that it doesn't get on the fabric itself. I just want to get it on this backside, the backing here. So. We'll probably spray like a section about this big and then probably work our way to here and then roll it back a little bit, flatten it out, keep the plastic over it and then just keep doing it section by section until it's all glued down and flat. So we'll try to maybe set you guys up over here so you can see exactly what we're doing. It might be a little tough. I mean, we've never actually done this before. So like I said, it is a learning experience for you and I. Yeah. So we'll see. And uh, hopefully this turns out good. I can't wait to see because I, I don't, I really like this material. I think it'd be good. All right, so we went ahead, got this pressed down. We got this half of it done. Got a little too heavy with the glue. I got a couple spots where, I don't know if you guys can see over there. Yeah. It's not too bad, maybe it'll dry up okay, but you can see where it's like kind of wet. Everything on this though is laying pretty flat. We won't know until we get it flipped over and can cut like the excess pieces off. But uh, you guys can kind of see like it's starting to come to shape, especially up in this area. So this still needs to get cut out. Hopefully you guys can see that. I just had my, <laughs> was aiming the camera right? But. We're gonna go ahead and start doing that section of the uh, headliner. Okay, so we finally got this thing done. This was an absolute pain. I don't know what it was, whether it's just like, I mean, this whole upper section here is so hard to get around. You can still see we got some points there where we couldn't get to lay flat. I don't quite know what to do for that. If you guys have any suggestions as far as that goes, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I think we're gonna leave it for the way it is because you're not gonna see it anyway. I mean, you're gonna have sun visors and stuff that cover all this. The other issues we ran into is we got glue on a couple of spots. They're not too yeah, noticeable, yeah, so noticeable. it's fine. And then the glue that I ended up getting, which was this here, this yellow super trim adhesive stuff. Don't get that, that doesn't work. We ended up, that can, that can ran out like halfway through. It was more liner. ball bearing than it was product. Yeah, so it didn't, I mean, we got halfway through it and ran out, so we had to run up, get some new stuff. And uh, this is actual headliner and fabric adhesive, so I don't know. I think I just got the wrong stuff, but that stuff works great. You have to be very careful with it because it dries like that. So we had to basically redo this headliner a yeah. couple times. Yeah. But it is done now. The only thing that's left to do is to flip it over and trim these edges. Like we said, this is kind of just a learning experience for us too, so it is what it is. I think it, it looks pretty good. I'm okay with it. 
The next thing to do is just to see how it looks once we get it all trimmed out. And in case you guys are wondering, a lot of these lines like this that you see isn't actually in the fabric, it's underneath. It's part of the headliner itself, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. It's just part of what it is, all these here. Like you can catch your finger on them and stuff up in here too. So don't worry about those. <clears throat> It's no big deal. So let's go ahead and flip this over and get them all like trimmed in. All right, so we went ahead, we got our edges all snipped up and flipped over. So now they're all glued down. So everything is in place where it's supposed to be. So now the headliner should be done. I guess we can go ahead and flip it over here real quick just to see what it looks like. Make sure everything's still where it should be. Oh, got a little high there. But uh, yeah, I'd say everything looks pretty good. Maybe got a little glue right there. That kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, you guys can see all the holes are now like edged out here. So that should be good. I think, it looked, I think it turned out pretty good even though that took way longer than what I thought it was going to be after we had to go get more glue because the first can was absolute garbage. And then, I don't know, it just wasn't working right. Yeah. These, this whole area here is just a pain to work with, but we ended up getting it done. So I'd say it's good. It is super cool just because it is that kind of suede material so i'm really happy with that it shouldn't fall down or sag or anything so that's fixed now next up we have to do the door cards which i have over there but unfortunately it's getting kind of late right now it's like 12 o'clock at night so we're going to end it here we may continue on the video i'm not sure but if we don't i think we'll just like i said end it here so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one